we have another subdivision. I'm Ian and today we're going to be doing another mail call. I ordered a couple items last week and they arrived on uh, yesterday. I wanted to load this video last night but it was incredibly hot yesterday at work and I was not ready for it and uh, I ended up crashing on the recliner and then going right to bed. So with that being said uh, we're going to do the mail call tonight. Um, we're going to record it. I hope I post it. Today's Tuesday. If it's not Tuesday, it's probably going to be Wednesday that you're watching this. Um, I still have the decoders to install from the last mail call. I didn't get around to that. But I did do some layout work this weekend. And uh, hopefully I'll get an uh, update video on that soon. Um, it's just really hard when I'm exhausted from the heat and it turns my brain into mush. So with uh, we'll jump right into it. The first box I got here is this one. I ordered this off the um, online marketplace where it was nicely wrapped up in here. I paid $99. This is an Atlas Silver Series. And what we got here is uh, Norfolk Southern SD60E. So we'll take a better look at that because I have the uh, reverse camera. And then we have this package. This is from Streamline Back Shops, which I mentioned in the last video is where I got the um, AMD4 decoders for the other Atlas engines I had. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box. Tons of uh, peanuts in there. Sparky loves those. Take this receipt out. So the first thing that is in here that I bought from Streamline Back Shops is this 42 foot modern coil. So we'll get that out and look at it then too. And I purchased this Alco C628 DCC sound. And you might be wondering, if you can see there is a Southern Pacific patch on an Alco demonstrator paint scheme. So we'll get a better look at this and then when I have this out, I'll explain why this is on the layout, or why it's in the mail call. Alright guys, first we're going to take a look at this uh, Atlas. Um, it's an N Masterline locomotive, but it's the Silver Series. So this is the decoder and sound ready model from Atlas. It has the speaker in the tent or the fuel tank area already. And all you have to do is drop an ESU decoder in this and it will be DCC and sound uh, equipped. So I purchased this for $99 thinking that the decoder would probably be like $40 or $50 and I'd make out and have a sound locomotive for $150. Bucks. But when I looked it up the decoder is around $80 to $90 and then the sound and all that needs to be put onto it. So. This is going to be another project locomotive. I'll probably put the decoder in myself and send it to somebody to have the sounds put into it. Um, and then behind it we got the coil car, which that one is an Atlas Masterline I believe as well. And it is a 42 foot coil steel car from US Steel Geneva Works. So I'm just going to power this up and test this out. So there we go in reverse. And put it forward. This does have ditch lights, which is nice. Uh, you don't see that much on the Atlas and N scale. Uh, they do have the ditch lights coming on the new runs of the SD 50s and 60s as well. So there you can get a better look at that coil car. I really like these modern ones. I had never realized that there was two different types of the coil cars I already have. I believe are the older style that was used in the 70s and 80s. So these are the modern ones, I am assuming. So that is the Atlas locomotive and the um, Atlas coil car. And I'm really happy with both these pieces. Um, I really like the SD60E cab with the top. So this will make a nice addition to my Norfolk Southern fleet. And uh, let's take a look at the Alco. Okay, here is the Southern Pacific Alco. So these units were demonstrator units from Alco and I guess Southern Pacific bought two of them because he had 4870 and I believe 4871. So you can see Southern Pacific just threw their patch over there, the gray with the white lettering. 
and this is a really sharp uh, locomotive. I like the gold. I like the SP patched on there. So that is the locomotive. I just want to show you this gold paint because it kind of is pretty neat. You don't see many gold locomotives. And there's the other side of it. So if you had watched a while back, I bought a Lehigh Valley Alco C628 in the Snowbird scheme. Here's the shell. So when I bought that locomotive, it was listed as new, old stock. And when I got it and tested it, this front truck here does not work. It does sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Well, some reading, I do know that the bushing between the worm gear here and the motor here wears out on these. So that's what I'm assuming the issue is with this chassis. I'm going to fix this chassis and throw a decoder on it and take the shell, that one, and put it on that chassis. And I'm going to drop the Snowbird onto this one so I have DCC sound for my Lehigh Valley unit. So that's why I, it really didn't matter what this shell was. This was the cheapest engine I could find with DCC sound. That was an Alco C628 with the black frame that I needed for the Lehigh Valley. So I purchased this from Streamline Backshots for $150, which was a really good deal considering I paid $120 for the Lehigh Valley unit at DC. But that's what happens when... You want something that was produced in 2004 and hasn't been produced since then. So that is my plan on this unit and uh, let's test this engine out and see how it works. Alright and as with any ESU decoder and the ESU cab control it automatically picks it up and you can see it's listed as Atlas NC628 up there. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the sound and that would be this button here and as you can hear the locomotive starts with its startup sequence and the Alco Prime mover comes to life. Um, we'll test the horn. Horn seems to be working. Bell seems to be working. And now uh, let's test it out and see how it runs. So I just turned it up to speed step three. The ESUs have momentum control in them. And that's a great looking uh, shell. Okay, now we got it reversed and we'll bring it back by. And that gold looks sharp against that blue of the Ready Northern steam engine. Alright, so that's the Southern Pacific and the story behind it. The next time uh, you see this chassis, it'll have the Lehigh Valley locomotive on it. Um, thanks for watching my mail call. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, after I'm done talking here, I'll throw a clip in. Take a look at this uh, beautiful gold locomotive pull a train across the bridge uh, before it's taken off this shell. Alright, thanks guys. Take care. Have everyone have a good week. And if you're out in this heat, please stay hydrated and stay safe. Uh, it's, it's no joke, that's for sure. Take care everyone.